Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of This Week in Riverdale. We are your hosts. I'm Emily Hassett. And I'm Caroline Rosio. Let's do this. To start off this week's episode, we have a piece done by Matt Candrilli and Willie Davidson. This project talks all about using technology for learning, and they entered it in the White House Student Film Festival. Let's check it out. And sent. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I just sent my English paper, my lab report, and my history report, all to their respective teachers, all from this baby right here. Technology sure has improved the way we've learned in the classroom. In my school, we have a one-to-one -one laptop initiative where each student and teacher is given a laptop with access to many great programs we can use. How many times have you been stuck in that boring class with that boring teacher who just talks on and on about that boring topic? With these laptops, those teachers can now make visually appealing and attention-grabbing visual presentations to facilitate learning. Teachers and students can use programs like PowerPoint, Photoshop, Windows Movie Maker, Flash, and the Internet. The list can go on and on. Even this project was made using Adobe Premiere Pro. Can you imagine us making this, having to single-handedly splice film together? No, it's totally impractical and ridiculous. Next! Laptops have completely changed how we obtain our information as well. Forget the internet for a minute. Students used to get all of their knowledge from books just like this. Yeah, this eight pound pile of paper was full of information that was years old. You see that? It's old. Just think about it, if Randy Johnson over here found a new type of insect on some secluded island, how many years would it take to be put in a textbook? And how many years would it take for a school to buy those textbooks with that information? It's not like schools could buy a new textbook set every year, those textbooks were expensive to buy in bulk. So, they were left with these outdated textbooks, and sure, tons of people learn from these textbooks, and it's not wrong or bad information, but isn't it better to have all of the new information? That is where these laptops come in as a big help. With the laptops, you can have all of this new, wonderful information as soon as it's discovered with the wonderful thing called the internet. As soon as that guy on that secluded island finds that new species of insect, we can know right away. But right now, forget about textbooks. The internet has changed how we do our research for things like projects. Alright, let's be honest here. Look at this library. A lot of these books probably haven't been taken out once over the past three years. It's sad, but it's all because of the internet. I mean, look at all of these books. You used to have to go here and search throughout this maze for that one book about, well, maze. Get it? It's corn, like a corn maze? And then you have to deal with all those book numbers and that Dewey Decimal guy. Who is he, my neighbor? But now, oh, now. You want information? J j just watch, just watch how easy I can find it. Look, corn everywhere! You see how easy that was? It's amazing! Oh! Let me put it this way. Information is like a cookie. You want that cookie right out of the oven, not seven years later. Technological advancements are speeding up the way we learn, absorb, and obtain information. They are the future for the way we learn, and these have just been a few reasons as to why. However, I have a couple more projects to finish, so until next time. Technology is so helpful when it comes to learning, am I right? So right. But not all the time, because my laptop has been broken. Wait, are you kidding me? I have a help desk hotline. Like, I could so fix your laptop. Uh, I don't know. Remember we worked on that project together, and it didn't seem like you were too good. No, I was so good. Come on, let's just watch the project. Okay. So was I any help? No, I just... Absolutely not! You're useless! Why'd you pick this job in the first place? No, no you weren't. I just got on the phone with you. We've been talking for five seconds. No, not at all. Okay, well, I would just... Back. On my laptop? I, do, I was I'm just trying to connect to my family in Dubai and now I <laughs> Hello, you've reached the help desk. Caroline here, ready to assist you in all your computer problem needs. Hi, this is Molly speaking. I have a problem because my computer keeps crashing. Okay, Molly, please tell me a little bit more. Like, what color is your laptop? Um, silver? Does that, does that like, have to do with anything? I just like to know because I like to, like, really know my clients. What's your middle name? Jane. 
Wow, Jane, that's such a pretty middle name, my gosh. So, you have a silver laptop, your middle name is Jane, Molly Jane. Um, okay, tell me what the problem is. Like I said, my computer keeps crashing. Okay, try pressing the button. By that, by that you mean the start button? Yeah, that's what I meant, the start button. Try pressing, like, the start button. Okay, well, here's my problem, because when I press the start button, it doesn't work, because my laptop crashes. This is like a first time crash, and like it's just gonna be fun. We're gonna work through it together, Molly Jane. Okay, okay. Alright, moving on. Alright, so, okay, did you try pressing the button? Yeah, it didn't work. Molly, to tell you the truth, I mean, there should be another button that if you press it, it'll work. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm pressing the wrong button. Mm hmm. Press the button! Did that work? Okay, Molly. Alright, if you press it again, it'll work. Just like call me back if you need anything. I'm glad I helped you. You haven't helped me at all. I'm Caroline, ready to assist all your computer problems. Bye! Okay, well, I don't think I'll be asking you for help anytime soon. Whatever, I know I was great. But wait, did I tell you what happened to me in the senior parking lot the other day? No, what happened? Someone almost hit me. Oh my gosh, I seriously am scared for my life in the senior parking seriously? lot. <laughs> Let's check out this next piece done by Han and Will, where they show how crazy the senior lot really is. Hello, I'm Will Riot here in Riverdale's infamous senior lot. the senior lot, some say the worst place in all of Riverdale. Why is that? Probably because of all the chaotic traffic. We got parents like these just blocking everything. Look at this. Look at this. Wait, hold on. Get an eye full of this over here. They are just cutting right through. There we are, cutting right through. No concern for the law, no concern for anything at all. Jenna Shin, one of our worst drivers in this class, here with me right now. She is horrible. She got in about six accidents within the last three hours, just in this lot alone, just this lot. Jenna, any words? No? All right then. <laughs> Students don't really know how to drive. They don't know what's going on. They don't see what's actually happening. See, students have this idea that they know how to drive. They don't. Why they're in this lot, why they're causing traffic, why, I'm not exactly sure, but, but, excuse me, I'm filming here. As you can see, most of the parents wait not till they're here where their students would have to only walk up about 20 yards or so to the door. They have to wait till they get all the way up, all the way up this line to drop off their student. Watch, watch as we wait. They come up, they come up as close as possible to let their student, their precious, precious student, out only 10 yards from the school. <laughs> Typically, students tend to drive smaller, more efficient uh, economy cars that are easier to park and just like this one right here that most students, oh God, oh, oh, um, uh, I didn't do that. Breaking news to all Riverdale students, faculty, and parents. Be advised, there is a lunatic with a microphone causing accidents, delays, and general chaos within the senior parking lot. The suspect is posing as a fake RDTV interviewer. Do not, under any circumstances, talk to this man. If you have any information regarding his whereabouts, please call us at 111-111-11-1. In other news, everyone failed their midterms last week. So as you could tell, we wanted to keep it casual for the last part of this week's show. 
Hence our outfit changes here at the RDTV studio with all these snow days. We've been getting pretty lazy. Yeah, that's all the time we have for today. Remember to follow us on Twitter and subscribe to us on YouTube. I'm Caroline. <laughs> and I'm Emily. Thanks for watching. See ya. Honestly, let's check out this next piece. <laughs> what? To start off this week's episode, we have a piece done by Matt Candrilli and Willie Davidson. This piece... Oh my god, wait, did I tell you what happened to me in the senior parking lot the other day? What happened? Someone almost hit me. Your car? Yes. We changed the script. <laughs>